Why am I losing money on this option when the stock is going up? YouTube, this is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we will be talking about the Greeks. Alright, so what's up YouTube? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Greeks of options trading. You might be asking, well, Foxtel, what are the Greeks? I don't care about that. I don't have time for that, sis. Let's get to the options. Come on, what's up, what's up? Calls, puts. Okay, I understand, hold on. So, when you first start getting into options, you may have a few questions, concerns, or some terrible news. So just picture it. Let's say that you buy a call option contract, right? And it expires in about a month. So you buy this, you buy this contract, it expires in a month, the stock is in an uptrend and you know it's going up, but it's going up and down, up and down, but, sh but you know it's going to continue going up by the expiration date. And maybe you bought it with a strike price that was really out of the money. So it's way further up from where the share price is right now, okay? Coins are tight right now and I know buying out of the money options are cheaper, so that's why you did it. The stock is going up and down, but it's two days from expiration and the stock is going up. But wait, my option value is going down. Like, what's going on? How is it that the stock price can go up, but my option is losing value? Foxtel, you didn't tell me it was going to be like this. The answer to that question, my friends, lies in the Greeks. So that's why today we're going to be talking about the Greeks, what they are, and how you can use them to help you along your option trading journey. So I've been talking about this for the past couple of weeks now, and this is the video. This is it. You've been waiting for this. If you're trading options, this is the video that you want to watch. I promise you that. But first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. What are the Greeks? I know you keep hearing them. I know if you've actually bought options on Robinhood or any other trading platform, I know you've seen the Greeks. I know you've seen them. You've probably wondered what they are. If, if you're not already familiar, I know that you guys have been curious. What are these weird little numbers down here? Do they mean anything? Yes, they do. It's your roadmap to success, to wealth. So basically the Greeks represent the makeup of the marketplace that tells you how your option contract is going to react to changes in different variables, different variables associated with the price. That can be different things like time to expiration, how close you are to the expiration date or time decay, the amount of volatility or change in the actual stock price, different things like that. But keep in mind, there's no guarantee that this is 100% all the money. This is all speculative. We're going to get into Robinhood and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to pick a random stock. You guys know, I always pick Tesla I'm telling you. You guys, y'all are gonna see me pulling up in a video in my Tesla. I still don't know what color I want. I'm going in between black and white. So I'm thinking about black, but you guys are definitely gonna see me in a Tesla. I'm manifesting it. If you guys don't believe in manifestation and the secret, you're missing out, you gotta pick that up. So we're in Robin Hood. Uh, I'll pick Disney. It's $148.40 a share right now. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get into some options. I mean, it's, let me see. Do I think it's going up? Yeah, it's definitely in an uptrend. All right. So trade options, December 4th, I think it's going up. So I'm going to do a call. So it's just going to be a basic call. And I'm going to show you where to find your Greeks. This is just in Robinhood. I can also, I can also show you how to find it in Weeble. So leave a comment below and let me know if you guys want to see it in Weeble. Let me know right now. I might do it in the video if you hurry up and leave a comment below like right now. All right, let me, let's just go. Let's just go. Um, I think it's going up by December 4th. Mm, let's just say it reaches 149. It goes up a little bit. So I'm going to click here and this is going to show me my stats. Bid, ask, 
volume, open interest, volatility, yada, yada, yada. Now, what we're interested in is down here at the bottom. This is the Greeks. I know you guys have seen it. This is what it is. So because the option price does not always move in sync with the actual stock price, it's really important for you guys to know what's actually contributing to that option contract's value and what effects they have. One thing I really want to clarify is that these numbers that you see here, the Greeks, they're strictly theoretical. I said that before. So different values that we use, like you see up here, you see the bid, the ask, the volume, open interest. Those are all real values, real data, very measurable. But these Greeks, they're theoretical, they're calculated. So just keep it cute with them. Don't put all your faith in them. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just be aware, keep that in mind, okay? So let's continue. Okay, so the Greeks are gonna be shown as sometimes very small or negative numbers. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to normalize them $2. So they're all the numbers that you see here, just multiply them by 100 and that's going to give you that value as pertain to the full contract of the 100 shares. So just multiply this by 100. So you see this 0 0.42 delta, multiply that by 100, we get 42. So yeah, let's get into the first term. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of it all. I wanna keep this video cute and short. All right, so first, the first one we're gonna start with is delta. So when I first started getting into options trading, I remember I had an option contract and I was holding on to it for a while because I thought that the longer I held on to it, the more money I was gonna get because the first day I got $60, the next day I got another 30. So I was like, okay, the more I hold on to it, the more money I'm gonna get, right? No, wrong, honey. So I'm holding it, I have a couple of days until expiration and the stock is really starting to go up. Like it went up two or $3, but my option contract started losing value still. It wasn't going anywhere. I was like, what is going on? That's Delta. As I was holding on to it, my Delta was dropping. This is what Delta is. The Delta is the amount that an option price is expected to move based on $1 increase in the actual stock. So if the stock goes up $1, essentially you would be adding that Delta value to the price of your option contract. Um, on call contracts, the Delta is gonna be positive number between zero and one. And on puts, it's gonna be a negative number between zero and negative one. So remember that Delta is going to be positive for calls and it's going to be negative for puts, okay? So here's an example. Let's say that you have a call option contract that's worth $3, all right? So $3 per share, whatever, it's worth $3. You have a delta, all right, and you have a delta of 0 0.50. And theoretically, the stock is gonna go up $1. So in theory, the price of that $3 call option contract is gonna go up 50 cents if your delta was 0 0.50. So the option is going to be worth 3.50 as opposed to $3, okay? So if your stock went up $1, then you would essentially get $50 if your delta was 0.5. Oh. On the other side, if the stock dropped a dollar, so if the underlying stock dropped a dollar, then your <laughs> on the opposite side, if your stock dropped a dollar, then your option price would also drop that 50 cents. Okay, so your delta was 0.50, so it would go from being worth three dollars to two dollars and fifty cents due to your delta. And this is for a call. Now, if it was a put, it would essentially be the opposite, but just remember that a put is valuable when the stock falls and it's profitable when the stock rises. So it's really just a flip of the call. So just think about it like that. I hope this makes sense because it's really easy when you think about it. And one trick that a lot of people use for Delta is they use Delta as a probability of their option expiring in the money. So if you have a stock that has a Delta of 0.8, then a lot of people would say you have an 80% chance of this option expiring 
in the money and um, you'll be very profitable with it. So that's one way that you can use Delta also. So yeah, because of how important Delta is, a lot of traders are curious, okay, well, what changes Delta? Does Delta stay the same? And no, it doesn't. As you see, I know you guys have traded before and you see that your Delta sometimes it'll drop the longer you hold your stock or it might go up. So there's something else that fluctuates the value of Delta and that's going to be the gamma, all right? So gamma is going to measure the rate of change in the Delta for each change, for each dollar change in the underlying stock. So when the stock rises a dollar, whatever your gamma is, that is going to be added to your delta. So you're just making more money. It's really good if you know what you're doing. So let's say if you had a stock that has a delta, once again, of 0.8, and you had a gamma of 0.2, if that stock rose $1, then not only would you get that 0.8, but you'd actually get that full $1 because that gamma will be added to your delta. So that's why you wanna keep in mind looking at your delta and looking at your gamma and think about it like this delta is like the speed that an option price changes then the gamma is essentially the acceleration how are we accelerating versus how fast we're going horsepower baby so options that have a high gamma are very responsive to price movement of the underlying stock so that could be up or down They're or so that's why you want to be right you want to be right in your prediction and unlike the delta, gamma is going to be positive for calls and puts. Because you remember that with the delta, the calls are positives uh, for the delta. I don't even want to confuse you, but since we're talking about delta and gamma, I really just want to look at this, uh, this chart right here. But you'll see a chart and you have your delta and your gamma over 60 days from expiration. And then you have the delta and gamma one day away from the expiration. And I just really want to show you how important these numbers are, whether you're close to the expiration or not. So we have, look up here at the top, we have the stock price and it's going up $1. So we have it from 48 to 49, 50, 51, 52. So originally, uh, let's just start at the top. We have a Delta of 0.32 and then we have Gamma of 0.8. So that is going to match up to 40. Uh, it's not just going to be the 0.32 that we get when we rose up that dollar in the actual stock price. It actually turns up to 40 because of the gamma. And then let's go up here further. Uh, look here when the stock price was at 50. So our delta is 50, but our gamma is 0.10. It's, it's kind of high. So when the stock rises again, we don't just get 50. We actually get an extra 10.10. Uh, so it ends up being 0 0.60 instead of just that five. So this is what's showing you what happens when you have high gamma. Um, with a high delta. Let's go down here at the bottom. You see here we're one day away from expiration. So normally your delta is going to be a little bit lower, but let's just skip here where our delta, oh, okay, yeah, our, our gamma is higher here. So let's say if we had a delta of 0 0.50, but we had a gamma of 0.4. So if the stock rolls a dollar, we're not just going to get that 0.5, we're actually going to get point nine zero because uh, our gamma is so high so this is another reason why keeping track of the Greeks is really important it's gonna help you know whether or not you really want to stay in in this option contract so we've gotten past those Delta gamma what's next so the next thing that we're gonna look at is how changes in time and volatility affect the option value as well so we've already talked about two things now we're going on two more oh. we're going on two more oh. that are going to affect this options value so the first one that i'm going to get into is theta theta or time decay is one of the biggest enemies to new option traders and i can tell you that in the example i gave you about myself my theta was so high the longer i was holding on to it until expiration because i thought that i was making more money but i was actually losing money because my delta is dropping gamma is dropping my theta is going up 
So let's get into the theta. So the theta represents the amount that your calls and puts will decrease theoretically each day that you hold on to this option contract. So if you have a theta of 0 0.10, multiply that by 100. Each day that you hold this contract, you're losing, isn't that what, $10? Every day you're holding this contract is losing $10 in value. That's basically what's that, what that's saying. So if you have a high theta, mm, I don't know, sis it might be time to get out you do what you want though so the only time I like having a high theta but the only time I care about my theta being high is when I'm doing my credit spreads and you know I love to do a cute credit spread when she's using Tidlio I love to use Tidlio to use credit spreads and I love to have a high theta because that means that it's just losing more and more value for the other person and I'm just getting all that coin so Thank you, Tiplio, and thank you, Theta. All right, that's enough. That's enough product placement for you, Sabe. Ugh. All right, so one way that you can think about Theta with option trading is think about leaving a piece of ice in the hot sun. All right, so the longer time decay and time value of that piece of ice being in the sun increases the melting of the ice. So think about time decay the same way. The longer you hold on to that option, the longer that piece of ice is just suffering in the sun, it's melting, it's losing its essence. That's what high theta is. Hot sun, high heat, high theta. And so a rule of thumb about theta, so as a rule of thumb for theta, option contracts with strike price that are at the money have a higher time value. So I feel like because it's right now, like I'm right here, the time value is higher, I'm in the moment. You know, it's happening right now. And the last Greek that we're gonna talk about, not to be confused with volatility, and the Vega represents how the option, con uh, how the options value is going to change with the change in the stock's volatility. So. If we go back here in Robinhood and you see how we have the implied volatility, you see that percentage, right? So it'll let you know the stock's volatility and however much that volatility changes. All right, so just think about it like this. With the implied volatility, the Vega is just an estimate of how the value of an option is gonna change when the volatility changes by 1%. You just wanna keep an eye on your volatility you want to keep an eye on all of them actually and there's one more that i really didn't mention uh down here on robin hood it's the row and uh row basically just means how much your option contract is going to change in value for each one percent change in interest rate so i just know just one thing to remember about about row if you're doing a short-term contract like let's say if it's a month or something away of your expiration then our row isn't really going to affect you that much but if you're doing something long term maybe six months or a year or something in advance, then this could be critical for you with your interest rate. So if you're doing things far in advance, long-term holding with contracts, do some more research on your row, but I'm not going to do that research in this particular video. Uh, you know, honestly, that video was quicker than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's really not that much. Honestly, I told you guys it, it's not that bad. It's just a few different, you know, a few different theories, um, you know, keeping in mind, let's just look at this Disney. All right. But this is just with an expiration date of December 4th. So let's say if we moved it further out till February 20 or February 19th, then let's look at our option. Okay, so the Delta is, you know, it's kind of low, 0.49. Your theta is very low though, it's 0 0.05. So you still have time for your Delta and your Gamma to increase because your theta is so low, you're not gonna be losing it as long as the stock is in the uptrend. Then you'll be good, my friend. You'll be good, friend. Hey friend, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about that. Um, if you guys want me to show you how to get to options in Weeble, I'll do that. So let's go over here to Weeble and what stock was that, Disney? All right, so I'm on Disney here and the way I would get to the options there is I'll just click trade and you see here, right here on the bottom, you see buy, open orders, my positions, options, click the options, all right? And you click the options, it's gonna show you everything here. It's gonna show you your strike price to the far left, uh, bid, ask, last. Uh, and here is where you're gonna see your delta, gamma, theta, 
it gives me my volume and open interest so yeah um oh and here this one shows you both ball uh both balls buys uh puts and calls so dang weeble is kind of fly with the options yeah i'm gonna have to start doing options on weeble to be honest with you i'm just so comfortable doing it in robin hood still so i'm just kind of like muscle memory but i do need to really really get back into uh you know experimenting with weeble i've been pretty successful just experimenting with a couple of stocks and also the free stocks that i get um from you guys signing up so thank you for that let's see if i have any now oh! i do all right i do on screen so you're gonna get to see three uh stocks that i have from weeble so let's see boom one cldr oh okay khc thank you worth 33 and another CLDR so thank you guys so much uh, please continue to sign up to Weeble so that you can continue to use these amazing charts um, and yeah so that's pretty much it for this video I hope that this video was helpful for you I hope that you feel more comfortable uh, reading your option values and, and doing your contracts and stuff like that if this is your first time watching this video or if you found any value in the video at all please make sure that you click that thumbs up button also make sure that you join us for our live on Sunday parties we talk about upcoming stocks for the week um, stocks that you guys want to talk about and we're also going to be talk we're also going to start talking about tiblio stocks so really just talking about stocks and and you guys like to like hang out we hang out talk what else are we doing on a sunday it's quarantine anyway so we can talk about some money for the upcoming week so y'all come and chill with me foxtail from the d all right so i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you guys so much all right peace